What's up, YouTube? It's Melt Metal Anthony again. I'm back here. And I'm back here to give you some advices today. I knew when I started out, there was a lot of these cool little tools, things that made my life a lot easier I didn't know about. Nobody told me about them. So today I'm gonna lay five of them on you. Five things that I think will make your life easier as a welder. And this is for any welder. Shop, you know, mobile, whatever you're doing. All right, this, even some of you pipeline guys can use some of these tips. All right, so let's get into it. Before I show you my five trick tools, I just wanted to let you know that the links to all these tools will be down in the description below, okay? So go ahead and check them out. And if you do end up wanting to buy them, buy them with my links. Throw a little extra coin in your boy's pocket, all right? All right, my first tool, actually, my first two tools, brings us over here to my oxygen acetylene bottles, right? I know you're thinking, what, just oxygen acetylene, unscrew, screw? No big deal, right? Wrong, okay? Because they got these things. I didn't know that these things existed when I first got into this business, okay? So what I'm talking about, my first tool of the day here, are these quick connects, okay? These, these things are a game changer. You sitting there screwing and unscrewing your torches like a damn fool. When I'm over here, bam. Look at that, what is that? Time me, what is that? Two seconds, three seconds, I'm ready to cut. Look at that, just that quick. And all it is is this little nipple piece that screws right onto your torch. And then this little uh, quick connect, almost looks like an air hose piece. Here, I'll get, I'll get a little closer in for you. And you just pull down and pop them right off absolutely necessary if you're in this game that's going to save you time and save your customer money my next trick tool trick tool number two are these bad boys right here these little caps right i didn't know these existed when i first got into this game it's not like you get a book that tells you about this stuff and basically with these, these caps are dot approved by the way that's why i love them because i can keep them in the bed of my truck and it makes it a breeze to go ahead and turn your bottles on all i do is unpin it just like so here we go. We're ready. Turn our bottle on. We got pressure. We're done for the day. We take our pin, flip it back over, and then we just slip that bad boy right through the side. Mine's a little bent because I'm cheap, and this one's been used on about a thousand trailers, but you get the gist. That brings me to trick tool number three. All right. Not everybody can afford an air compressor and a heavy-duty welder to air gouge things, all right? When you're cutting cracks or when you're cutting out welds or whatever you got to do sometimes when you need to blow out something but not cut straight through it, okay? And that brings me to this little guy. This here is what they call a scarfing tip. And the scarfing tip, what you do with it basically is you get your, your plate. Let's see what we can find around here to use. All right, so you take your plate... And you basically just heat it up, right, with the torch pointed straight down at it. And once you get it cherry hot, like you know to do when you're about to get ready to cut, you go ahead and turn it, right? So now you got your torch. Well, let's see if I can switch hands here so you all can see. Now you get your torch and you just press your oxygen and you go ahead and blow that line out. Now it takes a little bit of skill to do this. I still myself have not mastered this. I'm pretty decent at cutting with a torch i'm you know good at heating uh, everybody's good at heating with a torch right i can braise a little bit but this little tricky so you definitely want to get some practice pieces before you go ahead and start cutting on a customer's you know piece of equipment or what have you right here is my victor that i keep cut set up with the scarfing tip so as you can see right there i got it sideways and what you can do is loosen the nut and twist it any which way you want to so what i'll do is i'll get down in there and I'll go ahead and light my torch up, heat it up, and then just and blow the material right out of the way. All right, guys, we're here on the other side of my truck where I keep my grinders, my PPE, and whatnot. And it brings me to trick tool number four, all right? And this one, some of you guys might know about, okay? But it's extremely important that I tell you about this one, okay? This is a piece of PPE I think every welder should own, all right? It's to protect your lungs. Your lungs are very important. I know a lot of old timers, as you know, I like to mingle, I like to talk. I go out and I talk to all sorts of people all the time. I know a lot of them with esophagus cancer. 
I know some of them with lung cancer. I don't want to see that happen to you guys, okay? Because it's a brutal way to go. You don't want to have a trach valve in your throat where you're going, uh, you know. It's not cool, okay? It's not fun. I don't want to see it happen to you, okay, guys? So you need to protect yourself. And it's a pain in the ass to wear, especially in a humid climate like we are out here in Florida. But what it is, is just one of these little respirators, right? I prefer the 3M. You guys have seen me wear this a lot. And, you know, quite frankly, nobody can hear a goddamn thing you say. Like, I'm sure you all having a, 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 a time hearing me right now. But this thing could very well save your life in the long run, okay? So I know this is a little more obvious, but when I first started this business out, I didn't know about protecting my lungs. You know, I, I was a kid. You know, I started welding when I was, you know, 16, 17, 18 in those years. And, you know, it was just little scrap metal sculptures and stuff. But I cannot express the importance of this enough you want to go ahead and get yourself the 2297 because that filters everything out and you can see it says p100 right you know that's what those lunatics are trying to get people to walk around in during the covid you know obviously these aren't going to be accessible to everybody because they don't make them in that type of type of supply but anyway this is trick tool number four and like i said please go out invest in yourself okay because you are your greatest asset you are your greatest tool because without you nothing can get welded can it this brings me to trick tool number five, okay? So this one is something I bet some of you pros don't even know about, okay? It's this little doohickey I got right here in my hand. Every once in a while, you get into a situation where you don't need to clamp something together, but you actually need to spread it apart. It's happened to me several times, and I was like, they gotta make something out there. So after a, a decent, what I would say a decent amount of research was, I found this little guy. This here, is a spreader clamp and you can see you can adjust it and then lock your nut down wherever you're at i've used this thing on several occasions i keep it in the truck because you never know when it's going to come in handy um it, i love this little guy every once in a blue moon i need to whip this bad boy out and i'll go ahead and use it and it works just like any other vice grip but it pushes out you know see there's your lock nut there's your little screw to make it longer or shorter, which you could even put a longer one in there. You know, I mean, we're welders. We can, you can make that, you know, if you need to make a longer one. Or you could just use a shim piece. I've done that in the past. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you guys for supporting me. If this video helped you out today, I want you to go ahead and hit that like button. Maybe share it with a friend. Um... Anyway, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be bringing you more content like this every Sunday, okay? I'm going to call this the Sunday special, all right? And I'm going to try to drop a little bit of wisdom. Just basically videos of me talking, speaking on the welding industry, speaking on business, speaking on tools. Um, but I got a lot more content for you guys. It's all right up here in the old noggin. So uh, go ahead, like, subscribe, share, do the whole nine, all right? I'm worth it, all right? All right, guys, have a great day. Keep dragging some rod. Keep pushing that MIG. Keep doing what you do, all right? I'll catch you next time. Have a great day.